2.5 tons per square meter. That is very resistant. Wow, this is really thin. I mean, for an LED screen, it's just LED technology is transforming the way we consume content and we consume entertainment. Today, we're coming to a company that is offering a lot of advancement. And right behind me, you can see it's different kind of LED technology. It can allow the different shape and configurations from the screen. We can see a panel behind me. We can see on the floor. And this is just one of the different technologies that this company is offering nowadays. So let's go inside and explore the different technology that this company is bringing to the market. started uh, the business in 2004 and we started firstly from uh, the domestic China market and then we grow in the overseas. Uh, we have a uh, good business now in Germany, in UK, in uh, Spain, Netherlands. We see a significant growth in uh, Asia Pacific countries, Middle East uh, area and also in the Latin America market. Take a close look at these things that I have in my hands. They look like regular tiles, right? Well, look closer and check this out. These are actually LED panels that are using different kinds of textures and designs on top of it to resemble different kinds of surfaces, like perhaps wood or concrete. They're used for decoration indoors in different kinds of spaces. Actually, right behind me, this is something that looks like wood, but is slowly transitioning into a very bright, high quality LED big screen. So if you don't want to use or project any image like at home, you can just use these different kind of design or textures. But if you want to display some images, voila, you have a huge screen. Imagine being at home, having a big, large space in the living room, perhaps. Do you have any of these styles at home? but then you want to watch TV, you can actually literally watch TV on your wall. So using this kind of technology with this kind of film on top of tiles and LED screens, the possibilities again are infinite for decoration. The company is developing very cool technologies yeah. when it comes to yeah. LED. What are some of these effects and benefits that the consumer can see in the product? Uh, we have developed the COB, the MIP. They can get more uh, the higher brightness, the higher contrast ratio, and better color informity. All in all, that is the we can have the better visual effect. Uh, when well, you are talking about some uh, big events in the sports, like actually now in uh, Shenzhen, Guangzhou, we just uh, set it up some uh, big uh, stadiums. With this kind of project, we have the LED lighting, the facade lighting, uh, to make the decoration outside of the arena. And also we have the professional lighting for the stadiums. Are you in the new stadium in Hong Kong, the one that recently they opened? Right. Of course. We are in the Chida Stadium. You, yeah, we, we can are see there. Unilumi technology in that huge stadium. Yeah, 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 we are there. All the main stadium we are in. <laughs> you all will be present. Yeah. So yeah. if people go to see a concert or a football match or any sport event yeah. in any major stadium yeah. in southern China, for yeah. sure they will see Unilum technology. Sure, sure, sure. Awesome. You will see. So this is one of the panels, of course, going to be part of a bigger setup. And what is interesting to see here is all the technology behind it. You can tell different parts are, are look quite complex. One of the main purposes for this is for easy installation. Actually, this is kind of like a core panel. And if I touch here, I can just move it in different direction. There's a big event in Saudi Arabia. I oh, yeah. think you made all these screens for this amazing event, right? 2009, we got uh, information that like they are thinking to set up a same park. It's actually in the desert. They have a very creative idea to set up the project, like uh, uh, to invite all the people, uh, go there for shopping, for dinner, you know. We set up the videos, 
and I gave them the idea and with two months we finished the project. You've seen them in different kind of live shows, even in nightclubs, you get to see this to make it a more immersive and fun experience. What is interesting also is the resistance of these kind of panels. We have this kind of glass on top of the LED. 2.5 tons per square meter. That is very resistant. Of course, I'm not uh, proof for this kind of glasses, but again, it's very, very resistant. Whoa, this is really thin. I mean, for an LED screen, it's just impressive. Now the LED industry is improving and evolving a lot, but now also thickness is getting much better now. Unilumin is introducing this very, very thin screen that measures only one millimeter uh, to make something more impressive, more creative, more innovative in the LED world. This is also a transparent or a see-through panel of LED. It's quite bright. It's perfect for outdoors, maybe like commercial or retail spaces like big shopping malls. I have seen this one in Shenzhen Airport as well. And it's quite useful because you can actually see through here. I don't know if you get to see my hand over here. And another of the improvement that you can see in this kind of new technology is that it doesn't have any kind of structure behind it. It's basically the net of the different LEDs and just a big frame that will support the whole screen. LED technology is also coming to the movie theater. So we have in front of us a huge screen made out of LED. The image quality is super good. It's actually a 2K resolution technology for this great form of entertainment. And actually what is interesting is the color accuracy and the image quality of these big screens. When it comes to LED technology, of course, the quality of the image and the kind of pictures and videos that we get to see as spectators, of course, is really important and it has evolved throughout the time. Now we're getting much better pictures, even 4K resolution on outdoor screens, just like this one. But also, Unilumin is trying to put a lot of effort in research and development of the different process behind the installation, transportation, and maintenance of all these panels. Actually, we have here one of these panels are used for these kind of setups. We get to see all the different kind of technologies uh, that are used or that are behind all these panels. Like you can see these panels can be moved, can be curved, can be actually set up in different shapes, different ways to capture the attention of the spectator. The first directory is about uh, Uninuming LED display technology. Now we have a COB, we have micro, which means at 0.4, 0. You know, very small pixel of each. Also we have the MIB, as you can see here. The MIB technology, I say, it, it will be the future. You see these um, screens, the view angle is very important. LED is different from LCD. For LED, they have a much wider uh, view angle. People can see it from even, for example, 140, 160 degrees. Mm -hmm. and, but with the SMD, sometimes you know you don't get the good color uniformity. But with the MIP, you got 100% good color uniformity. And the most important is the contrast radio. We got a 10,000 per one contrast radio mm -hmm. with the MIP technology. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.
Maybe.